Dear WIPS families, it is a pleasure to welcome you back to school again. It'll be great to see all the eager faces of the boys on campus. Although the circumstances are not ideal, we are happy to be learning and getting active again. In the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 2, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. We certainly have perseverance at WIPS, and we will continue to fight the good fight as long as we follow the rules. In my role as Deputy Headmaster, it is my responsibility to ensure that the school operates smoothly and safely. This can only happen when we all work towards the same goal. Sadly, our parents are still not allowed on the premises. But if you would like to understand the procedures at school, then please ensure you read the Pupil Code of Conduct letter that I have drawn up explaining the day-to-day -day procedures. This explains everything from home screening to departure from school. Pupils may be dropped off at 7 and the bell is rung at 7.25 to start school at 7.30. Parents are pleased to remain in their vehicles for both drop-off and pick-up. We have decided not to stagger the start of the day. Although, boys will be scanned inside the gates of the school. We have returned to the previous stricter protocol that states, if a child is sick at school, both the boy and any siblings need to go home. The detailed protocols for children, staff or parents who are ill are explained clearly in the medical protocols drawn up by Mr. Sweetlove and posted on the communicator. I'd like to congratulate the parents for the drop-off and go process, which is smooth and efficient. Staff will continue to man the drop-off. Children will move directly to class and all protocols will be adhered to. The main difference this term is that boys will move between classes to various subjects. The logistics of teachers moving continually has proved challenging. Teachers are not able to deliver the quality lessons when lugging baskets of equipment around. All centres have been well equipped with the necessary PPE and sanitising materials. There are intensive sanitising protocols in place to ensure safety. There are also rules governing the movement and seating arrangements for pupils. Once again, please read the Grade 0 to 7 Code of Conduct carefully. At break times, grades have been allocated separate areas to play and strict hand washing protocols are in place. Extreme care is taken in the dining rooms to ensure clean and safe environment. Sport will form part of the school day and is considered to be part of the curriculum. Sport may take on various forms at this time depending on rules applicable to the different sporting codes. But we will offer physical a, a physical activity program. Please keep an eye on the week ahead, which is released every Friday. We do not encourage the use of afternoon activities, as we do not want boys in different grades to con come into contact with each other. If at all possible, we encourage parents to take their boys home once their intramural activities are complete. If your son is absent from school, please inform the teacher or school immediately. If the absence is COVID-19 or contact related, please keep the school informed. Absence of two days or more requires a doctor's note and any requests regarding absence from school or extended vacations need to be submitted to the headmaster in writing. At pickup time, staff or coaches will accompany boys to the circle for departure. Please do not depart from your vehicle. I ask your cooperation in this regard. Please remember to put your new disc on the windscreen of your vehicle to avoid being stopped by security. It is the Maroon 2021 discs that were in the end of year pack handed out in December. Appointments. All appointments need to be kept to a minimum if possible. 
Any meetings that have, been, have to be on campus must be arranged beforehand and security will be informed that you are coming. Parents are encouraged to Zoom, WhatsApp video call or have FaceTime meetings with staff if they need to talk to them. For uniform and sports requirements, please make use of the online shop. If you require an appointment, please contact Mrs. Hauptfleisch. If there is an emergency and you have to drop off items at school, it must be left with security and they will deliver it to reception. Tuck shop. The tuck shop may not accept cash, but we would like to encourage pre-orders. Boys will then be charged on their prepaid cards. Due to strict hygiene regulations, it is imperative that meals are pre-ordered. As far as communication is concerned, we would like to keep the communicator as the central mode of communication. Due to the considerable changes and challenges with the calendar, we will only be posting two weeks ahead at this stage. If you would like to communicate with teachers, please send an email or a message if it is urgent. But be mindful that teachers may be teaching and unable to respond immediately. Also be mindful of the time of day that you contact staff. Within working hours is acceptable. If you have queries of a general nature, please work directly through your class reps and they will get the relevant and correct information from the staff. That brings us to WhatsApp groups. They are for the dissemination of important information of an urgent nature and not a replacement or push platform for communication. WhatsApp is not a chat forum and class reps have clear guidelines for its use. If there are issues you need to pursue, please contact the teacher directly. Set up a meeting and discuss the matter. We, are, we encourage open communication. Don't wait until a PA meeting or a public forum before voicing your concerns. We would like to deal with things timeously. Another small but important issue at this time is the marking of clothes and possessions. There is a build-up in lost property due to the fact that it is unsafe to go and dig through piles of items. If items are clearly marked, they will find their way back to you in quick time. Boys will wear summer uniform and bring their sport kit in a clearly marked whips bag to change for physical activities. Please remember sunblock and I would suggest boys have their own personal sanitizer. Once again, I am thrilled to have boys back on campus. Please read the protocols and make sure your sons understand them. Thank you for your continued support during this trying time and through our combined effort, we will make this year a success. As the great Nelson Mandela said, we can change the world and make it a better place. It is in our hands to make a difference. Thank you.